Okay, hello everyone. I am Alan Patterson. I am the co-founder of Beyond Math. Uh, and we are applying AI to solving problems in physics and simulating the physical world. So we're all hearing a huge amount uh, in the media today about large language models. Uh, we call these foundational models. Uh, and that's because like one model can do multiple tasks. And if you believe the hype, they can do everything. Um, but they are first and foremost language models. They can't calculate airflow velocity or surface pressure on an aircraft. Or they can't calculate the radiation pattern from the antenna in your mobile phone. And that's because for these kinds of problems, you know, words aren't enough. Uh, mathematics is a choice of uh, language in science and engineering. And so at Beyond Mass, we are building foundational models of physics so that we can model, simulate, and predict the physical world. So in aerodynamics, you know, we run simulations of the physics of our design. It's a supercomputing task. Simula a single simulation can take from hours to days, even weeks to run. This quote here is actually from motorsport, uh, but it's the same problem there. They're talking about getting a, a single two-car simulation down to 11 and a half hours on 7,000 cores on AWS, 7,000 CPUs. That's the size of the, the, the computational problem we face. We still build physical models of our designs and test them in wind tunnels against real physics. Most often, the measurements we take in the wind tunnel don't correlate with the results we see from our simulation. So the, whole, the entire design, test, and evaluation process is hugely inefficient. But with AI, or machine learning, it's already proving itself up to the task of solving highly complex, huge-scale computational problems. Not only that, it does so orders of magnitude faster. So when we talk about hours or days, we can be down to minutes and even seconds to run. AI is also very flexible. We can train our models on, on the physics so that it generates simulation data, but we can also incorporate measurements from the wind tunnel such that a simulation from an AI model can correlate more closely with the real world. So beyond math, we are building what we're calling a digital wind tunnel. It's a fully AI simulated wind tunnel. We, uh, as a startup, we have started actually out in motorsport and we're working with a Formula One team. They're great for us, you know, they're very fast turnaround. Um, they spend very quickly. Um, and they're also great validation. You know, these teams, all own a supercomputer to run their simulations. They even build their own wind tunnels. So with our product, their aerodynamicists can upload a CAD model of their designs into our wind tunnel, and they get real-time results being calculated. The process is meshless, so they can move their design around in, in the wind tunnel. They can reconfigure it. Uh, they can even redesign, and the calculations are happening nearly interactively for their the aerodynamic performance of their design. So, you know, we're not expecting people to get rid of CFD tools tomorrow or wind tunnels, but they can really quickly assess the aerodynamic impact of the designs so they can run in seconds without running the full simulations and waiting a day for the results. To give you an idea of the speed up they're seeing, we validated against their data um, a couple of weeks ago, and a the simulation they ran was 100 CPU hours. It ran in 43 seconds in R2. And that 43 seconds, was it, they didn't have to wait for. It ran 400 frames of a dynamic transient simulation. So it was actually continually calculating as they did that. A bit about the company. Um, we are a new startup we founded last year. And the startup, uh, the, the founding team are experienced. I've been in machine learning for 30 years. 
I've been through many startups, plenty of successful exits, thankfully, uh, to the likes of uh, Google, Amazon, Oracle. Uh, we, we raised uh, one and a half million in pre-seed funding last year. Um, our lead investor is Up Partners, who are invest in mobility in the airspace. Um, uh, they're a US VC. Uh, we're currently building a world-class AI team. So, and when I say that, I mean we are recruiting from Google DeepMind and um, some of the top institutions in the UK. So Imperial, Oxford. We're actually based in Cambridge. Uh, and our plan this year, you know, we are very much a pre-seed startup. So our plan is to build and validate the technology uh, and with commercial validation from a partnership. So we started with a, one of the big Formula One teams. I, I can't say his name, but... Um, and we are also looking for a partner in uh, aerospace. So if you are interested in what we're doing, think you could collaborate on a development partnership, or you know someone who could, we'd be very happy to uh, hear from you. So I'm here, I'm Alan, my head of business development, Rob, is just there. Um, and we'll, we'll be around after this talk, and we'll be also going over to one of the networking events is at the museum uh, later. So um, please come and chat to us then. I would love to hear from you, and thanks for your time.